Today, you're going to learn how to make deadlifts good for your back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Coach Burr. I'm an online personal trainer based in Australia. First of all, you have to stop thinking the deadlift as a back exercise. Instead, you have to start thinking the deadlift as a hip dominant exercise where you're primarily loading your hamstrings and your glutes. Yes, you are going to be using your back muscles in the deadlift, but the back muscles should not be really doing the lifting. It's that the back muscles, in particular your spinal erectus and your lats, are going to be holding your upper body position and basically everything above the waist should remain very immobile during the deadlift. So then the key to making deadlifts good for your back is to learn how to hinge properly, how to load the hamstrings and the glutes maximally. And the best cue to teach you this is to keep your spine as long as possible. So I want you to think that your spine begins at the very top of your head and then it ends at your tailbone. So I want you to see, can you make your spine as long as possible? So I got the spine starting from here, finishing here. Can I make my spine as long as possible? And then I, can I maintain that long spine when I'm doing the hip hinge movement. If I can achieve that, that is when I'm loading the hamstrings and the glutes maximally and not my lower back. And another cue that I want you to think is to have the top of your head be the roof of your house and your pelvic floor be the floor of your house. Your job is to keep the roof and the floor facing each other throughout the entire movement. So in no point of the movement, your roof gets slanted that way or this way, or your floor gets slanted that way or this way. So you need to keep the floor and the roof parallel to one another, and then they move together as you go through the movement. Now that you understand how to hinge, how to load your hammies and your glutes, now we're ready to pick the bar from the ground. So to get to the position, we're gonna stand close to the bar, we're gonna hinge at the hips, keep our spine in a beautiful long position. You should feel your hamstrings and your glutes that they're, they've taken on some load. It's a bit of a stretch feeling. So now the final piece of the puzzle to making this deadlift really good for your back is to not pull the weight from the ground. Remember, this is not a back exercise. Instead, the deadlift is a push exercise. I'm loading my hamstrings and my glutes and then I'm pushing the ground away. I'm not pulling the weight up with my back. I'm pushing the ground away to stand up. And that's how you turn a deadlift from something that you're afraid of to something that you look forward to doing and gives you confidence in your body and your strength. This is the skill that you're going to take with you for the rest of your life that is going to help you be more resilient everywhere, whether it's bending over to pick up a couch when helping a friend to move or, you know, tying your shoelaces or playing with your kids or your dogs, whatever. When you get into these awkward positions, at least you know how to load your hamstrings and your glutes. So you're not just using all back, all day, every day. Because if you do that, chances are that at some point, your back is going to get pissed off. Follow a progressive program that teaches you the fundamental skills first in a more simple exercise, like the Romanian deadlift, before going into the deep end, into the conventional deadlift. And if you're looking for a program like that, look no further than the Coach Buddha training app. I'll see you there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.